Hey guys, so welcome. In this video, we'll be talking about struct. So struct is a short form of structure and they are collections of related members or variables. Unlike arrays, they can be of different data types and they are listed under one name in a block of memory. And they are very similar to classes in other programming language, but you can't use them in methods, okay? So let's create a struct. Let's assume we have some series of students. So we can say struct. This is how you create a struct. Then let's say students. Okay. So students is going to be the struct, um, struct name. Then what do we want to store for the students? Okay. So if we have students, definitely we want to take their names, okay? So we'll have names or name. We can give that a size of 20. We also want to take their age and probably we want to take their country, okay? So this is an array of strings or array of characters. So we have to give this a size too. And now that you have the struct, so you create the struct just above your main. The next thing is we have to assess the variables inside of the struct. So for us to be able to assess the variables inside of our struct, we have to use the struct name. So we can do something like struct precious, sorry, student. students then we can say something like student one all right so what we are doing with this is like trying to initialize so let's create another student so we can call this student two now how do we assign values to the variables so for student one since name is an array of character we can use str copy then we use student one dot name because it is name. Okay. So we are trying to assess. We are trying to give value to the name of the student, the first student. So we can say the first student maybe is precious. And also let's give the age. So for age, this is an integer. We can do this like this, student one dot age is equal to 50. And we can also do the same thing for country because it is an array of characters. Okay, so we use str copy. Then we say student one dot country. And this student is from Nigeria. And now we have that for student one, we can do the same thing for student two. So we can just copy everything and paste so we can change the name. Student two probably will be gold. Country age, maybe 70. Country, let's say Ghana. And now we can, since we've assigned values to the variables in the structure, we can then decide or we can actually assess them using the print f now so let's do for student one let's print something for student one we we'll say students one name is remember the format specifier is and he or she is we are going to put the age and e or she is from then string again new line so the first one is student one dot name the next thing we want to assess is student one dot age and last but not the least is student one dot country okay so student one name is 
and he or she and he or she is years old and he or she is from so we can duplicate this for the other students so we can say student 2 name is he or she is from so we change the variables the structs to and two. So let's run this. And let's see what we have. Oh, I did not change this. So it should be student two. Okay, student two, student two, and student two. That's why we have this error here. Yeah? So let's redo it. So I'm going to clear this. And I'm going to run this again. So you see, student one name is Precious, and he or she is 50 years old, and he or she is from Nigeria. Student two name is Gold, and he or she is 70 years old, and he or she is from Ghana. So exactly what we've done here is what we can see on our output. So the first thing we did was we declared our struct students with different variables, then we assessed it we created different students then we gave values to them and we printed out their values so that is it on structs guys i'll see you in the next one cheers so guys we want to talk about type def or type definition and this is a reserved keyword in c programming that gives an existing data type a nickname so you know, most times when we want to create our array of characters, we could do something like name. 50 is equal to, let's say, precious. But with type def, instead of typing out all this, we can just decide to give it a nickname by doing something like type def. Then we say name. Okay, so the array type, so let's say 50, all right, or let's, let's use user. So we have a type def of char, a user. So now that we have this declared with the type def, we can always use it here and say something like, so we say user so you call the type definition then you create who you want to create so we say user one but this is for an array but type def is mostly used in struct so from the struct from our last class so let's use that i still have it up here so if we want to use type def with this struct all we need to do is just to rewrite this so the first thing we need to do is to take out the struct we should take out the struct name, okay? So we take out the struct name, so students, we just copy it or cut it out, then you put it right here. Then right before struct, you put type def. So what we've done now is we've created a type definition of our struct. And now, if we want to use it, all we need to do is just to come down here so we come down here and just do this we say students then we can undo students one is equal to so let's assign some values to the variables so we do precious again age is 80 and country is nigeria And let's create another student. This one should be from Kenya. Probably 90. And let's call this Silver. And we'll change the student name. So student 2. And now we can assess all the values. So we just do a print F. Okay, so I'm going to assess everything for student one. 
So I'll just say student one equal to so name, we get the name, we get the age, and we get the country. All right. So now we assess the variables student one. And the first one is name, student one, age, student one, country. Okay. Yeah, that was an error. Then we can duplicate and say student two, 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 and let's put this on a new line. So save and let's run this. So there's an error somewhere, print F. So let's try to troubleshoot. Okay, so I think we did not close this, so semicolon. So save again, I clear the output, then let's run this again. And as you can see, our code has worked correctly. Student 1, Precious 80, Nigeria. Student 2, Silver, 90, Kenya. So just to recap, you use a type def to make your code simpler. And we did a type def of the struct students. Then we assessed it and assigned values to the variables. Then we printed out the values of the variables here. So guys, that is it on using type def with structs. I'll see you in the next one. So hello guys, in this video, we will be talking about array of structs. So let's assume we have more students and we want to get more information about them. So I'm going to copy this. Still working with our previous code from our previous class, type dev. So now we could say this student name could be, um, we could use gold again. And now we could call this student diamond. So I may just change the age. Now, to create an array of structs, all you need to do is just to go on and say, all right, so since we have the type there, all you do is just student. So that's the type def. Then we create an array of students, okay? You may give it a size or not. Then let's call in all our students. So all the arrays, so students one that is all the various structs that we created so this is three and this is student four so i'm just going to copy this paste that student two okay so this will be student three and student four now, since it's an array, we can actually look through to get access to the different information of the various students. So how do we do that? We use a simple for loop. So we initialize i is equal to zero. As long as i is less than, so we say size of, okay? So size of students, that is the array, divided by size of students and one of the arrays, so zero, and we increment i. So what do we want to print out? Let's print out the names of the students first. So format specifier for string is S. Let's put this on a new line. 
and to assess all the students, each student, so we say students I, okay, students I dot, so the first one there will be name. So let's see if we can assess the student name. Should be students yes to students students name so let's see if we can assess that claim all right so i renamed the file properly so let's redo this so save and let's run so as you can see, we just assess the student name. Let me clear and redo it. So I'm going to run it again. And as you can see, we have precious, silver, gold, and diamond. So we've been able to use the loop to loop into this to get the various names of the students. All right. So that is how to get information from an array of strokes. So let's try to see if we can also get the age. So all we do here is just to say age. And the format specifier is D. So I'll clear this and let's run this. So you can see we've been able to get the age, but let's make this better. So instead of a new line, we can say tab. Okay, so let me clear this. And there you have it. So we have precious tab 80 and silver tab 90. So you have the student's name and you have the student age right in front of it. So that is how to assess, that is how to create an array of structs. And this is how to also assess the variables or the values inside of it. So guys, I'll see you in the next one.